Jasper's Fable One day, a long-haired white and black cat gave birth to four kittens, all of which were black except for one that was all white with two black spots, clear blue eyes and sweet white teeth. His mother took good care of him, and so did Miss Emily, the house's owner, who thought he was so beautiful that she spoiled him more than the other kitties, and even gave him a name, Jasper. As days passed, Jasper got bigger and bigger, and his colors grew brighter and brighter. He liked to play, run, purr, and exchange cuddles. On a bright sunny day, while prancing around the house, Jasper saw a mirror. He looked at himself and was astounded with wonder. Was that smart looking guy really him? He was fascinated by the physiology of his body and the anatomy of his paws. He also saw something very special in him, which was the superior look on his face and that incredible smile on his mouth. And day after day, he made a habit of it to stand in front of the mirror and talk to himself. And as he grew older and prouder, so did his ego. He kept convincing himself that he was different from his brothers and sisters until one day. He looked at himself in the mirror and, to his surprise, he could not recognize himself. His eyes were not looking at a cat, but rather at a big animal. He saw a lion. Smiling in self-satisfaction, he thought, Now Jasper, you are a lion, and much stronger than the one in the Wizard of Oz. Look at your huge, beautiful mane. You can do just about anything and everything. You are powerful, and all the king's men and king's horses will bow down to you when they see you. And he nodded his head. And no sooner had he come to that conclusion that he started talking like a lion, walking like a lion, and acting like a lion. Soon, Jasper went out for a walk feeling proud of his looks. He wanted to attract all the female cats and show the jackals who he was. As soon as the neighboring cats saw him, they blinked in astonishment, reshaping their eyebrows as he walked past them in a heartily manner. But shortly after, he had his luck run out when a dog followed him at a distance and started barking at him. Jasper turned toward the dog and said to him in his disdain, You fool! Who do you think you are? Can't you see I'm a lion and I can eat a whole elephant alive? Go away before I get angry and have to protract my sharp claws. However, the dog kept lurking. Then, as his box grew increasingly louder, he started chasing Jasper. Jasper tried to roll, but all he could do was mow. So he decided to make noisier and more intense mows, but the dog would not back out. Jasper considered more and tried to hiss and spit to defend himself by expelling air in a brusque way, but the fierce dog was then ready to attack. Jasper sensed danger and ran as fast as he could howling and yowling while the dog was chasing him until he got hold of Jasper's leg and he bit it so hard that Jasper thought he was going to die. Knowing he must flee the deadly scene at any cost, Jasper increased his running speed until he felt his feet touching his bottom as he kept snarling and growling to save his life. Once he got home, he was shaking like a leaf and sweat was dripping from his tiny body, all screeching of pain and on the brink of death. Miss Emily rushed to heal his wounds. Now Jasper, you'd better start acting like a cat and no more of that nonsense. She spoke softly to him to alleviate his pains.